real world, we are not using the same computer. We usually yeah, want to have some sort of collaboration. There are many different services that allow you to host your Git repositories on the internet for collaboration. And one of these services is called GitHub. We like a GitHub especially because many of our open source projects or um, tools we use are on GitHub. So it's something that most developers use and I think it's useful to know about it. Navigate to github.com and create a free account so that we can show you how to build a project that you can collaborate with. Once you create your GitHub account, you can click on the top right under your little profile and say your profile. And yours is going to look a little bit different than mine because I've had a GitHub account for a very long time. But here are pro projects that I've worked on, things that I build. You can star things, you can follow. Let's go ahead and create a new project though for this class. The top right, go ahead and click on new repository. And here, you don't need to pick a template. So I'm just gonna name this repository a fun with Git. And I'm gonna leave the description empty. And I'm just gonna make this a public repository. If it's public, anyone in the world can see your code. If you work at a company or if you do research, there's actually a lot of value to having your code public. I've been an open source developer for a very long time and I really believe that a lot of the code should be open and free because we're building for the community, by the community, and I encourage everyone to contribute to open source over your career. To create the repository, I'm just going to click Create Repository. Great, that's it. So now you're gonna see a bunch of instructions here. Remember, GitHub is being hosted remotely on the GitHub servers, and my code actually lives on my computer. If I didn't have code on my computer that I wanted to use GitHub with, I could actually create one by copying this first set of code, pressing enter, and I would actually do it. But we do have a repository that is under Git control. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that. Remember, my local folder is under Git version control, and I'm going to now link it to GitHub so that actually we can collaborate together. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these three lines by clicking on this little icon here, and that's going to copy these three lines. And I'm gonna go back to my terminal, and I wanna make sure I'm in the repository that it's under Git control. So I'm gonna say Git status, just to make sure that it's the one. And then again, I'm a little bit paranoid, so I want to say PWD to print the working directory to know exactly where I am, and I am in fact in my course folder. William, just uh, as a side note, introduces to another concept, PWD, which stands for print the working directory you are currently in. Now that I verified that this is exactly the folder that I want to make public, because again, it's on my laptop, so you should be very careful. Now I'm going to just paste those lines that I copied, and then I press enter. And then the magic works. If I go back to the website now, and I just refresh the page, boom, I have my two files there, .gitignore and main.py. Now this code is open source, so go ahead and go to this link right here, so you can see exactly what I built, and in fact, when I did it which is when we were recording this video. Okay, Sebastian, I wanna code with you on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and add you as a collaborator. I go to settings, I click on collaborators, and then I click on add people. What's your GitHub username? My GitHub uh, name is um, short and sweet, it's R-A-S-B-T. Perfect, so I click on this, and I add you to the repository. You should have access to this now, so I'm going to send you the link. Oh, I just see a notification popped up. I was invited to fun with Git. But here's a workflow that I recommend. Again, there are many different workflows. This is just one. Go ahead and create a new branch for everything that you're doing. Don't try to use master directly ever because it's going to make collaboration very hard. So just tell all your collaborators, hey, when you do work, create a new branch. So Sebastian, create a new branch for anything that you do. Let me show you how this works. So first I go to fun with Git, so to William's new repository, and I click on code where it gives me a link where I don't have to memorize William's repository name at all. I can just copy this link, go to my terminal, and type in the command git clone. And this will make a 
copy of the repository that is currently sitting on the server on GitHub. So let me do this. And now I have William's repository on my computer. So I can CD to fun with Git. And now I'm in this folder, which only contains a main file. Let me show you how we can make a modification to this. So first of all, um, like William suggested, we create a branch. So let me create this branch here. I type git branch new. And then the next step, if you remember, is checking out this branch. So I'm typing git checkout new, and I'm now on this new branch. So let me make a change to William's file, the main file. So I do this with a text editor that is available in the terminal. You don't have to use this particular editor. You can use any editor you like, but it is one of the ones that I usually go to when I'm uh, trying to do things quickly and efficiently. So let me do a small modification. So I just see here that um, William multiplied x by 2. Let's change this and multiply it by three just because we feel like it. Okay, so I'm saving this and now I have made a, a change to this file, but I also want to share this change with William. Let me now first check that this uh, change is actually in my Git repository. So I type git status and I can see now that we modified main. And the next step, if you remember, is adding files to the stage as, or staging a file so that we can make a commitment. So <laughs> first uh, let me say git add dot, which will add all, all the files that we changed to this um, process where we can then make a commit. Next, I'm typing git commit and leave William a very fun message. I will just say, hello world. That's our go-to. I now committed this change and the next step would be sharing this change back with the server because it's still all on my computer, but how is uh, William going to receive my change? I have to push it to GitHub. So now let me uh, just make sure I'm on the right branch still. So I'm still on this new branch and now I'm pushing this. I'm typing git push new. All right, I just noticed I made a little mistake because I'm not used to pushing things to people that much. Actually, we type git push origin master and yeah, origin is another thing you have to remember when you use git. So git push origin new. So now I'm sending the changes to the GitHub repository that is hosted on the server. And if you see on my screen now, I sh it shows that actually there are two branches, right? So two highways now. I am on my own by myself and Sebastian's on his own doing his thing. And we're going to merge at some point. In this case, we have now the new branch committed and pushed to the repository. And yeah, to create um, more fun for William, let me make a pull request, which is a way uh, like saying, I'm inviting William to check out my branch and consider making this uh, code change to the main or master branch. I'm clicking now on compare and pull request, which means I'm creating this pull request. And then I can also yeah, change my mind if the commit message was, let's say, not, um, not fun enough. So I can change it and tell William to have more fun with my code. By the way, also, if uh, you work on a real project, I highly recommend leaving a comment instead of just changing the title here, because it's always good to inform people about what you're going to change about their code, because people don't like it sometimes if you just make a change and don't say what it is. So I'm creating now this pull request and there is some checking going on. It says this branch has no conflicts with the base branch, which is always a good sign. Well, GitHub is an incredibly rich interface that gives you all types of information. The first time looking at this, it might look uh, super overwhelming. There is lots of stuff going on. And for now, I I'd suggest not worrying about it. But there is one little thing that uh, is often interesting. It's seeing the changes. So you can click on files changed and you can exactly see what I have changed. So now I will hand it off to William who received my change and now it's up to him to make the best use of it. Mm -hmm. 